Welcome to Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube channel video. You are here with GBHL hosts as ever, GBHL Jamie. Oh, and GBHL James. Just checking the spanner in the words, getting you on your toes, you see. And we are doing another channel unboxing. <laughs> Filler content, what have we got this week? We have got Boromir of Gondor, armoured, um, foot mounted. Absolutely outstanding. Boromir of Gondor. A profile which I think is one of the most fun profiles in the game. Yeah. I've been used him a couple of times. So, as with any channel unboxing, what we will do is we're going to open up the miniature, we're going to have a little look at the model, what we think about the poses, etc. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit through the stat line as well. So, this is Boromir of Gondor. No, it's, 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 it's Boromir, Captain of the White Tower. Oh, so it's not Boromir of Gondor, yeah. it's Captain of the White Tower. And those are two completely different things. Yeah. <laughs> completely different. So we messed up straight away there, straight away there, Jeremy. Did you hope it was Boromir of Gondor? Yeah, I did. I got this from JT. It was, this is Boromir foot and mounted. So I bought it because I thought I might get Boromir foot and mounted. And I was hoping for it to be Boromir Gondor. Didn't ask to my own foolishness, really. Um, but got Boromir in armour. So, oh well. Boromir in armour. So, so let's have a little look at the model. I'm going to start off with the foot model. Yeah. Have a little look here. And this is kind of, you know, when he's on... I'll just pop it there. You know, in the extended edition, yes. when he's going, Fugondo! Fugondo! He's kind of almost in that, that pose, Fugondo. isn't he? All armoured up. And I do actually like this model. Very much like the pose. Because there are some of the Boromir of Gondor poses, which I'm, you know, like with the horns, yeah, like, yeah. or some of the Fellowship <laughs> poses, I'm not really keen on. But this, this is a little bit more dynamic. A bit more going on with him. A bit more leader. Yeah, and he's got his shield on there, he's got his armour, he's got his horn. Pretty good likeness of Sean Bean as well. Yep. Pretty reasonable, doesn't seem to be too much wrong with this. And then you've got them on the horse, which is probably how I'll be using him. Obviously, is, uh, the horse's legs come in two different pieces, which you don't need to see because it's the horse's leg. Um, and what I like is I've got a separate shield. Ah. That's nice. So I've got, I get the choice of arming him with shield if I wanted to, which I obviously would, making defence seven. Of course, of course you would make that decision. And then you've also got the option to take the banner. Well. Either, either to give him the banner or to give him a sword hand. So bring these up close. Which is a tough decision to make because this is metal and I have to glue it on. It is a tough decision to make. Very, very tough. And we'll talk through uh, why that is when we discuss the profile. In terms of how it looks, it looks pretty good either way. And it's nice when you've got a model that you've got that kind of custom yeah. customization ability, as it were. It's a big old banner, though. and It's massive, isn't it? It's just plain. There's no sort of insignias on it, which I, I'm not a huge fan of because it means I have to try freehand or, you know, maybe print something off. Yeah, do some kind of transfer. That is a bit of a shame. It's a big, big old hefty thing, isn't it? That's yeah. not going to be fun to glue on. No. It's a, very, a very small contact point. That's got um, a fair weight to it. It's not far off the weight of the actual Boromir on horse. We could sculpt him through that. <laughs> Shadow Lord too. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> oh, just, just putting this next to him. Whee! Hey. <laughs> Fagondo. <laughs> he doesn't get an extra attack for that, you know. No, no. But he doesn't need it. We're going to talk a little bit about his profile yeah. right now. So Boromir of Gondor. Oh, sorry, Boromir cuts in the White Tower. He is in the Gondor list. Yeah. So as opposed to Boromir of Gondor, it's part of the Fellowship. It's part of the Fellowship list. And what are the significant differences? Well, this time he's got fate and he's got will. Because this is to represent this is to represent Boromir, you know, the famous Boromir that was yeah. such a mighty warrior um, before he obviously went and joined the Fellowship. Now, I've just read his death in the book. What a beast he is. Yeah, Tolkien really undersells that whole fight. I, I have to thank PJ for making Boromir's Last Stand worth Oh, it's quite good in the book. No, it's not. Yes, yeah, all right. No, it's not. It's just... Oh, but Aragorn arrived, and Boromir was filled with many arrows. And then later on in the book, you get Pippin's... Oh, Boromir must have died saving us. There were many orcs around him. Uh, and it's all a bit lame, in all honesty. I kind of like it when it's sort of left to your imagination. No. What I didn't like about how Boromir was portrayed in the movies was that... You know, this whole thing of him being corrupted by the ring was sort of played on too much. You didn't really understand yeah, yeah. why he was like a... He seemed weak. Like, yeah. he didn't seem like um, he, a strong person he, who he, was he, corrupted he, by the ring. He seemed to be corrupted from the beginning, didn't he? Yeah, he seemed to be weak from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, that scene where he meets Aragorn, he shows 
you know, there's that weakness. Aragorn's yeah. very much in control and very sort of suspicious of him. Yeah. And actually, they're great friends. You know, like they're, they're great friends in the book. Yeah, yeah. They uh, have a lot of respect for each other. But in the movie, you kind of miss that. Yeah. So he's got fate, and it's also his options, which is really important. Yeah, so he's got the prefer a horse. Uh, he comes in heavy armour, which he has on his shield. Uh, which means he can go from being defence 6 to defence 7 which is a very important stat for him very very good Um, he gets his will he gets his fate he's got 3 attacks 3 wounds Uh, he's still got his 6 might which is good and his options are he can take his shield if he wants Uh, he gets the option to take a lance which is a huge thing for Boromir charge in blow the horn stab him with a lance (laughs) Um, or he can sacrifice his shield as well or can he take his shield on the Banner, I'm not too sure. Um, but you can take the, the, the white banner of Gondor, is it? That's right, yeah. yeah. And that makes him fight seven. He gets no minus one for wield in it. And it makes all troops within three inches, uh, all Gondor troops within three inches, plus one fight value. What you're sacrificing when you take that, as well as it being a lot of points, yeah. is his ability to take shield, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure there's a big negative to it. Yeah, he, shield. he can't take the shield, so... You definitely can't take the shield. That's yeah. that's the main thing, and um, obviously you can't take the lance. Yeah, you know. Well, or, or, or can he now? Oh, you because the the Knights of Rivendell can take a banner and a lance. You don't lo- you don't lose gear anymore for doing it. How interesting! So unless it's in the, his rules, he can still take his lance. Well, I think it's in his rules. Yeah, yeah. I think it's written into his rules. He may take no other gear except horse and shield. Some, something along those yeah. lines. Um, so yeah, fight seven Boromir. Yeah. So the big plus is when you take a Boromir. Is his might. Yeah, six might and one hero. So much fun. So, uh, I roll a four. Two might. Two points. Yeah, before your opponents even roll. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you get. Oh, I'm going to might it. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I'm not won, gonna... I've won this fight. Let's just see how much might I'm using. Yeah, yeah. I've won this fight. How much might am I going to use? And that can be incredibly fun. I think it's really good fun thing for sort of beginners to use. Yeah, well. yeah. So, oh, I didn't win this time. I'll use three points of might and kill everything I was in combat with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have you used it much? Have you... Never outside the scenarios. No, and, but you've come up against him a few times, yeah? Not particularly, you know. Really? And the reason for that, probably, is because he's very expensive. Very expensive. So he's 170, I think, basic. Mm-hmm. Then you get all his gear, and the banner's like 50 points or so. So he becomes almost a mini, well, uh, just a little bit cheaper than LSR. Yeah. Who is probably better, I reckon. It's three point of mic. Yeah. Three point of mic's a big thing, especially in the end game. Yeah. A really, really big thing. I'm looking forward to seeing him get painted up, certainly. Yeah. Um, and using him myself, because I, I really like Boromir. Oh, I yeah, think. well, he's, he's my model, so... Just... I think I've got... I think I've got... Are you, are you, I, think got I think you've got Boromir and Gondor. Boromir yeah, I've got Boromir and Gondor. But I think I might have... A... Yeah. Well, I've got all those Fountain Court Garden. Didn't and, uh... I? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thomas Magnum bought me uh, yeah, yeah, I bought my own. <laughs> the dirt cheap. He got me Sons of Ale. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I've I've come up against him. I think John. You know I think I've only come up against him twice. Okay, Tom Harrison. Tom Harrison had him, and that he brought him with the banner, which you know, in some ways, you, sacrificing defense seven it, it is quite a big thing. Yeah. So, and, and not having the lance when you're on the horse, but he had it with the banner, and he had him on foot. But I have to say. The presence of a Boromir who's fight seven. Yeah. And not just that, the fact that he was making Fountain Court fight five. fight five, which was a night, there was a turn where I charged in with my Sons of Ale. It was sort of like last game of the East Grinster tournament. Yeah. Great game, really good fun. Um, seemed to be quite rushed. I think Sam Page had, had to get off, and we weren't paying particularly slow, but um, so I was like, oh, as much, I'll just go for it. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't. And uh, I was <laughs> so, just, just definitely <laughs> wasn't. You know, you ran Again, it's um, unfair reputation. <laughs> and um, I charged in with like, like a bunch of sons of ale. And, like, just <laughs> they were, my sons of ale were massacred. Mm. Just that fight five, fight five made a, a massive, massive difference. So yeah, but Tom, Tom just roll sixes regardless. He, he did do actually. His, his rolling was very good. My rolling was shocking. Yeah. Well, it was absolutely shocking. But it was. Uh, was good fun. So that was one occasion. Of course, I came up against him um, against uh, Quinn Duggan. Oh yeah, in the All Heroes or the Get Back Rep that never never showed, and he just tore stuff up as you would expect in the Lord's yeah. Battle. 
He's very, very, very intimidating. But I love him. I love the profile. And uh, I really like the model as well. Yeah, the, the metal one's cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Is there a fine cast one? Maybe. I'm not sure. It'd be worth it. Want to hear what your experience is? Imagine if there was a fine cast one. It'd be easier to stick that flag on. Yes. Much lighter. That'd be one of the benefits, although I'm guessing you get lots of bendy bits. Yeah. Bendy flag. Lots and lots of bendy bits. We want to hear what these guys uh, experience is. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the model? Have you won the guest him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, want to hear all that kind of stuff so as always when you watch these videos make sure you comment get involved in the discussion like share subscribe support your hobby hobby and happy strategy back gaming